The Faculty of Medicine and Dentistry is delighted to be celebrating 100 years of medicine with a trip back in time as we look at how the school grew from a class of 27 students in 1913 into the education, research, and clinical powerhouse it is today with over 2,300 learners and faculty members. Henry Marshall Torrey had a bold, many would say audacious vision for the Frontier University he was recruited to lead in 1908. After Torrey arrived from McGill University to be the first president of the University of Alberta, he was determined to transform the U of A into a flagship institution of higher learning for the newly confederated Prairie Province. Ambitious plans were soon underway to establish professional faculties at the U of A, including a medical school. Just five years after the university was founded, the Faculty of Medicine became a reality and accepted its first students in September of 1913. So begins the history of the only medical school to be established in Canada between 1883 and 1945. The straggling bushes are long gone, the marshy land has been paved over, the neoclassical buildings constructed during the early days remain, including the medical building, later renamed the Dentistry Pharmacy Centre. But they're now surrounded by gleaming new edifices of polished glass and steel. The U of A Medical School has led the pace of development and has been ranked one of the top 50 in the world home to internationally respected researchers in diabetes, obesity, virology, cardiology, cancer and spinal injury rehabilitation, among other things. Our faculty has 20 departments, seven standalone divisions, and 31 centers and institutes. It boasts state-of-the-art labs and teaching facilities, award-winning teachers, graduating classes who score at or near the top of national medical licensing exams, and alumni who are making a difference in the health of the world's peoples. As we explore and commemorate our past, we will toast our present and plan our future. The one thing that hasn't changed is our purpose. We remain dedicated to advancing health through teaching, research, and patient care. Dr. Tory would be proud. We hope you will also take pride and join in our centennial celebration.